Bonjour et bienvenue sur un nouvel épisode de On peut le dire. Today we are looking at a cousin phoning to the one we had in the last video. So in the last video we looked at the phoneme s, which is voiceless. If you put your hand against your throat and say s, you won't feel anything. Today we're looking at the voiced equivalent of this, which is z. Okay, so that's its symbol up here, z. That's voiced. There are two key graphemes in French to make that sound, so it's a lot easier and quicker than the previous video. The first grapheme that we have is similar to English, it's the letter z. Z. Okay? Now, if you see Z in the middle of a word or at the end of a word and it's not after an E, then we make a Z sound. For example, un gaz, un gaz, so we have Z at the end of a word, but it's got A in front of it, so we say un gaz, a gas. Okay? We also have, for example, un zo, a zoo, un zo, where z is at the start, so we say z, okay? So that's one grapheme that we use in French to make the z phoneme, okay? The second one is going to use the letter s like we had in the previous video, but in a different context. One single S here, and it's surrounded by vowel sounds. VW stands for vowel, so by vowel sounds. Then we're going to have to say Z. So for example, we have une maison, une Maison. So you can see that we have one single S. You might remember AI from the A video, which was ages ago, and that's an A sound, which is definitely a vowel sound. And you might remember ON is a grapheme we use for a nasal vowel sound, on, and nasal vowel sound is definitely a vowel. Therefore, we say the sound Z. So in the previous video we saw S in a lot of contexts will be pronounced S. But if it's one S surrounded by vowels, then we're going to have to say Z. Now for the practice, you've got seven words and your job is for each word to decide if we are going to hear the voice Z sound that we've looked at today or the voiceless S that we saw last time, or maybe neither. Okay, so probably you want to spot the key uh, graphemes that could be responsible for these sounds. So key graphemes we've had, uh, we talked about C, S, and Z in the previous video and in this video. So. Find all these in these words and decide do they make us s or not neither sound. So pause the video, do that, and we're back to correct this. First word. The graphene we have is an S. There's only one of them. And before this S we have an I which makes an E sound, which is a vowel sound. And after it, we've got E, which makes a vowel sound. So this is basically one of the rules we've seen today, which means the sound we will hear is a Z sound, Z. Okay, so this one. So this word will sound prise. Une prise is a feminine noun and it means a plug, or in martial arts, it can be a hold. Okay, it comes from to take, taken. Next word, we've got a double S here. 
And for this one, we saw in the last video, double S will always make the S sound, this one. So you don't need to wonder if you see a double S, then you make this S. So we have mess. Mess means mass, the one you go to church for. Okay? Next, we've got one S. Before it, we've got Y and even AY. And then after it, we've got A. Now, A we know is definitely a vowel. That makes your A sound in French on its own. And then AY is going to create the dual vowel sound, so to speak. So you have A, E. So Y, although sometimes it behaves a bit like a consonant, in this case, it's a vowel sound, it's E. So we've got paysage, paysage, okay? Because we have one S, two vowel sounds around it, we make a Z sound, like that. All right, paysage is a landscape, un paysage landscape. Okay, next, uh, for the next word, we have two different graphemes to deal with. We've got a double S, which we saw here is always going to sound like S. So we don't even need to look at context. However, then we have a Z. And you might remember from earlier, Z is always Z, except EZ ending is actually special. So you might know it already from some verbs you've learned. The EZ ending makes an A sound. And therefore here it's neither. So this here was the trap. And that's going to make an A sound which is the same as your E-acute, or E-R, for example, or even A-R, okay? Next, we've got this word, and it has two different S's. So you've got this initial S and this final S. Now, the initial S doesn't fit with what we've learned today, so it can't be a Z sound. It does fit something we learned in the previous video, which was at S at the start of a word always makes a S sound in French. So we've got soup here. And then the last one doesn't fit with today's rule, but it doesn't fit with any rules from last lesson either. Lesson from last video either. And so it actually won't be heard as a consonant. So there'll be nothing here. It works with the I. So we have souris. Souris. Now that means either a mouse, feminine noun, or it's the verb smile. Je souris, tu souris. I smile, you smile. And saying that, I'm realizing I didn't say and translate this one. So <laughs> I'm going back now. Ramasser. Ramasser. That is to pick up if it's ER. So here it's EZ. So it would be vous ramasser. You pick up. So typically ramasser les déchets to pick up litter. Um, ramasser un stylo to pick up a pen, etc. So something's falling off when you're picking it up, it's ramasser. Next word, we have a Z and it's at the beginning of the word, so it's nice and straightforward. We just say Z. So we have un zèbre. You probably know what this word means already, so it's quite easy to guess. It's a zebra. Finally, we have two different S's here. The last one is going to work the same as in souris. So we won't hear it. Okay, it's part of a verb ending, we won't hear it. The, the previous one, we've got this grapheme beforehand. It's a grapheme that creates a vowel phoneme, we'll get there. <laughs> and we have this grapheme here, technically ONS is the whole thing. It's one grapheme. That creates a vowel phoneme, it creates the on sound. Technically, this should create an S sound. So that means that well, with one single S surrounded by vowels, we have to sound it like Z. Okay? Now, funnily enough, this will give us the sound faison. The whole word with, will be faison. It belongs to a verb phrase, which is an irregular verb phrase, some of you might know. And here I'm going to go off on a tangent a bit. So if you are not interested in finding out why this sounds like er and not e in context, then 
by all means skip to the end. Um, if you're interested in finding out, then listen. So, when you watch this, we start with a vowel U sound, which we've learned before. That's one of the first sounds I did in, in my series. U is a closed sound. Okay, so we start off with that. Then we should theoretically have a stretched A sound. And then we should go back to an on, nasal on sound, which is closed. U, nu, e, fe, on, zon, e, fe, nous faisons, nous faisons. So we have closed, stretched, closed. Nous faisons. That didn't even take me a full second to say. So it doesn't take a full second to say this whole verb phrase. And if we did it by the book, we would have closed, stretched, closed vowel sounds. And that's a bit of a strain, okay? It's quite tricky within less than a second to go close, stretch, close. Your mouth is going to struggle moving that fast which means you have two options. You speak by the book, but that slows you down. And you know, French people aren't really renowned for speaking slowly. Or you bend the rules slightly so that the whole phrase becomes quicker and easier to say. And in French, we quite often go with the second option. Instead of slowing down, we tweak the, the odd one out sound to make it more similar to the sounds around it. So here we have closed, closed, stretched in the middle. Stretched is the odd one out, so that's the one we're going to change. And we're going to make it sound like E, uh, which is a sound we've looked at before. And that way, it's not as closed as U and N, but it's close enough to not be a big stretch for your mouth to make. So we have nous faisons. Much easier to say than nous faisons. So a lot of the times, if you have you know, exceptions in French pronunciation rules, it will be down to, it makes it easier to say, because your mouth won't have to strain to shift really fast between completely contrasting sounds, or it will be faster to say, or it will sound more pleasant because there will be a general sense of unity instead of, you know, um, a patchwork of sounds that don't quite belong together. Yeah, that's it for today's video on the phoneme let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you have any feedback or any questions, put them down for me to see and act upon. Like if you like this video, share it with people who want to improve their French pronunciation if you know some, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, on peut le dire.